Okay, moving along here. I'll show you what I did. My cavity on the side here. I decided to take the dividers that were in there out on the top. And it's kind of bright out here. I don't know if you can see, but I got me a piece of dryer vent tubing so I could cut and fit into my holes. And then what I'm going to do is take this flex, fit it on there. I'll do the same thing on this hole. And then I'm going to box this all back off except where this pops out at. One for the hot cool uh, air going out and one for the cool air coming back in. So I got kind of lucky on this box. It was already pre-made. Uh, if I was to make my own box a different way, it probably wouldn't have this cavity, but it would still work just fine. But this cavity kind of makes it neat, so uh, we'll see how it goes from here. Okay, I've got my cans are in here, but I don't have them in place yet. I'm getting ready to put them in place right now. But I wanted to show you the duct work. This was running down this channel all the way to this side so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and box this in here and I'll finish this off this piece was already made I just took it out for the process now it's going back on and I insulated it from the outside wall and the bottom outside and then I'm going to put some insulation on top this side here doesn't need insulated because it's against the heat so we'll uh, get the cans mounted and show you that process okay now I'm going to attempt to seal the elements to each end with our sealer and the reason I'm doing it outside the box is so that I can repaint the whole thing a good another solid coat and clean the glass real well before I set it down in there and seal it up so I, this is going to be a little tricky I believe so we'll see what happens Put a big old solid bead on there so you ain't got to worry about no holes. Fills the gaps in one try. Try not to dent your cans, it makes it look bad.
Okay, I got I have the elements sealed to each end so that when the air enters the box, it'll flow up through. And I've got it all painted, good solid black. So all I have to do now is set it, clean the glass, set it down in there, seal it to the glass, and then put my styrofoam backing in, put the plywood on. My duct works ready. It's almost done. Okay. I'm getting so close on this thing I couldn't help but to just keep on working late into the night. It's like 10 to 8 or something. And uh, got the elements in place. As you can see, they're good and black. Got the duct work in place. And here in just a second, I'll have the back in place, which I have placed. Let's see here. I placed the holes in the back with the some of that dryer tubing that I got, I cut some and put in it, put through there. The whole back will eventually be back black, but I wanted to go ahead and seal that. These two tubes will poke through there. This is the back side. When I flip it over, the front side's glass, and this thing's going to look like a huge solar panel. So... Maybe in a day or two, I'll test it. Okay, to keep you in the loop, it's late into the night here. It's at least 8 p.m. I've got the element in. I've got the foam insulation on the back, and it's sealed on top. I've got the back on, and it's sealed. It's not sealed. The back is laying there. First, I'm going to cut here and up this way to cut this part out as an access. Everything will get screwed on, and this will be screwed on separately. That way, in case I have to get to that ductwork, I can just unscrew a couple screws and take this off. Other than that, it's, it's complete. All I have to do is bolt that back on with some screws screw it on and stand it up against the house over here and run my duct work into something else I'm going to make and I'll show you that it goes through a window but it'll be insulated so that the duct work my hose goes into the window and it's insulated through the window so it stays warm there too and uh, after that We'll get some temperatures inside this thing and see what is coming into the house. On to the next step. Okay, I hope I didn't wake the neighbors up at this extremely late hour at like 8, 17 p.m. But I went ahead and I cut my access for the vent pipe there. You can see. So, just wanted to show you that real quick. Okay, it's 8.48 at night, and I flipped this thing over. The back is done. For the most part, this thing is done. All I have to do is paint all the wood black that's on the front now and the sides. And, uh... Stand it up to the house. I'm going to get me a 12 volt solar fan so the a little bitty fan that forces air all the way through this and it works off of solar too, 12 volt. This thing will be completely off the grid. I don't know much how much ha uh, heat will be pumped into the house but we're going to see. I'm going to get a thermometer and do some testing and I, uh, I'll show you all, all of the testing too. Uh, but for now, that's what we got. If you look deep down inside there, that's the glass. But that 
solid black down in there in the very bottom. That's my uh, styrofoam board with aluminum on one side that's been painted black. Everything down inside there has been painted black. I'll get some more video during the day. But we've got our big cavity here on the end, on this end. And our big cavity down here on this end. This is the end that the cool air will be coming down, coming through. It'll be forced up through these cans as the, as the air heats up in this closed off area. It'll be forced back through this into the house.